another challenging track, very different from uh, Baku where we've just come from, very different from Canada, very different from Monaco. So this is a series of races for us that offer different challenges and uh, as always we try and approach each of these Grand Prix with, um, with new, new parts, new updates, uh, new setups, uh, specifically designed to uh, cope with the, with the difficulties of each track. Austria is a, a very simple track on the face of it, only five real corners uh, and some good long straights. So it's a balance of a power circuit with a downforce circuit. Um, but then you have the, the re relief in the track, so climbing up to turn three, going back down to turn four, five, six, and then back down to its lowest point on the pit straight. Uh, all of this adds to the complexity of the circuit, it all adds to the enjoyment for the drivers. Um, I think it's probably one of the circuits that we enjoy most and certainly we've seen some really, really good races here. It, it gives rise to a, a really challenging race. It has overtaking opportunities which is always good for, for a Sunday afternoon. In terms of the technical challenge, uh, it's one of the shorter tracks and as such uh, all the very small details uh, make a slightly more significant impact on your lap time. You're looking for every little hundredth on a lap that is only just over one minute. I think one minute seven, one minute eight is what we expect to be doing in qualifying. And as such, those little details need to be found in only five corners. So that's the challenge for the engineers. Uh, we come from a circuit in Baku which has 19 corners and therefore finding a bit of time in 19 corners all adds up. Finding time in only five corners is a real challenge. Um, but it's a challenge that we enjoy. Uh, the circuit itself has been resurfaced this year. Uh, we don't know what that surface is going to give us. We don't know the impact on the tyres. Uh, that's the same for all the teams. Uh, so we have to do our homework, but we have to have some things in the box to deal with but perhaps a very different situation from last year. Perhaps the tyres will behave differently. Uh, perhaps the, the warm-up will be more difficult. Perhaps the tyres will have a shorter life. Perhaps they'll have a longer life. All of these questions we can't answer uh, until we get there and we do our practice running on Friday. Uh, and then we need to react. And that's what we're all about, is reacting. Finding the, the little bits of lap time that make the difference between Friday and Saturday. And then going into qualifying, we need to give the guys a, a, a strong car. We've made improvements in the recent races in our qualifying and we've made good progression through Quali 1, Quali 2 and Quali 3. Uh, we need to carry that into Austria and we need to give Seb and Kimi every opportunity to be fighting right at the front in Quali 3.